what I have here is my take on a betsometer. I think that's how you pronounce it. A device for measuring um, the tear resistance, uh, the integrity of the paraglider cloth. Um, some cheap digital scales, luggage scales. I got a couple of years ago. Just turn it on. It's set in kilograms, but obviously it goes down to a thousandth of a kilogram. So units of five, so it'll measure five grams in units of five grams. And then after doing a lot of research about the different um, um, paraglider servicing companies, uh, even the manufacturers themselves like Dudex, Swing, Ozone, they've got data on websites and how, and how they um, test with a, a commercial basically it's a, it's a fine needle they put into the cloth and then they just load it up with whatever load they deem fit and whether it tears or not so I've made mine, this bit of copper is um, a bit of plumbing um, I think it's a bracket for some or half of a bracket for some 15 mil in a copper pipe and I've sold, I've bent it and I soldered in a dressmaker's, dressmaker's pin, very fine pin. I've done it a bit of an angle so that when you put it into the cloth and load it up, it will hold into the cloth, but it, it does sometimes slide out, so you have to just hold, hold it gently on top. Um, and I just keep it in this bit of polystyrene, stop uh, myself injuring. So that basically goes on the hook. And then you stretch the cloth. So I've got some, um, I don't know if it's 40 mil uh, plumbing plastic coupling. Make sure there's no sharp rough edges. And um, so that's I'll, I'll try and do a demonstration here now. I've only got one pair of hands, but I'm going to use a pair of my shorts. So let's just hook. Um, so just bear with me a second. I'm just going to so there you go I've got the needle fitted to the device I'm going to stretch the cloth over the coupling or the coupler I don't know if this is showing up well ok and then Place the needle into the cloth all the way down. I really do need another pair of hands here. I'm going to hold the top gently and then you just pull up to the desired load. Now, I'll give you some data from some of the manufacturers. Uh, swing, they actually test to one kilogram, a thousand grams. With a betsometer, and um, the fabric must tear mo no more than five millimeters. Well, that's uh, obviously a, a destructive test, um, so I'm not going to try that. Ozone themselves, they test to only 600 grams, and um, if there's a tear no greater than five millimeter, then that's a, a pass over five millimeters, a fail, and Dudek. Um, they gain 600 grams, um, but for them, no tear equals a pass, as opposed to up to 5 mil, like ozone. So I hope you've understood that. So I'm erring on, on the cautious side and hoping that when I test the two gliders I've got, the Nova Artax and the um, Apco Prima, that I'll do the 600, 600 gram load and hope for no tears on both. But uh, that's basically it. So you need something to, to stretch your material over. So I've got that 40 mil coupling, no rough edges, a soldered in needle into a bit of copper bracketry, onto a very cheap but accurate ish luggage scales. And um, that's just another thing you can try. 
as you've probably seen my Porosity uh, DIY Porosity uh, tester. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. You get the idea. I'll catch you all later. Bye.